mystery of star power. <laughs> hey, Tubies, this is Psychic Bob. Well, I'm sitting here today. This is my pendant I'm wearing. It's called the Pentacle of Endless Light. I love it. Isn't that great? Anyways, you know, I just love the symbol of the pinnacle. I love stars in general. I guess that's part of the reason I'm drawn to astrology, because it's a lot of star power, just like Wicca. Anyways, I'm wearing my pinnacle today and feeling in tune with the cosmos. I want to give a big shout out to all of you who've been coming out every day to our daily horoscopes. I've so enjoyed it. I'm, I'm just glad you're here. As you know, we're doing our horoscopes a day ahead. So even though today is actually, what's it, Wednesday the 8th, these horoscopes that I give now and the, uh, this, the alignments, the planetary transits, are actually going to be for tomorrow, which is uh, Thursday, February 9th, 2017. Okay, so I'm going to speak as if it's already the, the 9th, so just bear with me. All right, looking at our alignments for Thursday, February 9th. Um, today we've got our sun in Aquarius. This is wonderful because that's stimulating all that air energy, all that creativity. The mind is moving. Now we started out our day early this morning with the moon finishing its transit in Cancer. And at 4.41 a.m., the moon moved into Leo. And that's a change from a water sign into a fire sign. That's a pretty big significant change. Now with our sun in Aquarius and now Leo, a fire sign in our moon, this is going to give a lot of power today, a lot of creativity, a lot of stimulation. We have some interesting transits also that are occurring. We've got our moon, which is sitting in opposition to Mercury. This means today may be a little challenging in terms of communication or finalizing deals. So if you're working on, for example, closing a job deal to, to finally complete your you know, assignment, or you're working to get a contract signed, today could be a little bit of a delay. Not to worry, just keep conversation light, keep it open, keep it flowing, and eventually the energy will work out for you. Uh, our moon is also trying Venus today, and our moon is trying Mars. Now, you know what that means. Venus and Mars are the love planets. So today, you may not get a lot done in the business world, but You'll have a lot of fun looking good and a lot of flirtation. This is a great day for romance and, you know, just kind of having some fun flirtation. Our sun is sextile Uranus, which means people will be full of creativity, full of inspiration, a lot of zingers back and forth in conversation. So today, have fun with the conversation. Take everything lighthearted and just laugh along the way. Uh, again, it may not be the greatest day to finalize business opportunities and business deals, but don't worry. The goodwill generated by today's fun really puts you in a good place in the coming days. Okay, so there you go. Now, we're going to spin around our big zodiac wheel. That's right. I cover all 12 zodiac signs. Now, if you don't know what your zodiac sign is, listen up because I give the birth date ranges after each sign. So when you hear that that uh, birth date range, that's your sign, okay? All right, our first sign here today on our wheel is Aries, and that's March 21st to April 20th. You know, Aries, today is one of those days where you're very good at socializing. Aries want to be out, be on the scene, go out to parties. A great day to schedule luncheons, to schedule cocktail parties, as well as attend them. So Aries should make it a point today to be out and about. You're not going to get a lot done in terms of productivity, but in terms of social points, this is where the power is for Aries today. So my advice for you today is go out, see, and be seen and that way you'll win friends and influence others. Your key word today, Aries, is C. All right, our next sign is Taurus, and that's April 21st to May 20th. You know, Taurus, with that <clears throat> moon trine Venus today, you are in your luxury mode. Tauruses are going to feel very sensual today. Today is a good day for Taurus to literally wear their best clothes. You know, if you can take a vacation day, and, you know, wrap yourself in luxury silk sheets all day. That's the type of energy for Taurus. For those of you Taurus who have to go into the world, 
make sure to give yourself a little extra time. If you could take even maybe a little longer lunch break today and get in some shopping, that would do you well. Taurus will find that that the mood of the day is one of indulgence, luxury, and play. If you go with that, it's a successful day for you. Your key word today, Taurus, is luxuriate. Our next sign is Gemini, and that's May 21st to June 20th. Gemini's that sun in Aquarius has you all inspired as a fellow air sign. You are really feeling it. Now, our sun is sextile Uranus today, which is actually a form of mental stimulation for you. Gemini's are going to feel excited, inspired, and want to just celebrate. Take your ideas, no matter how crazy they are today. Run with them. You'll find that other people actually are on the same page and are open to your zaniness today. Remember, your insanity brings success, okay? So Gemini's want to run with the wind, be free. Don't feel like you have to stick to form or convention. And this way, you'll have a much better day. In romance, it's the same thing. You know, they say opposites attract. So you may end up meeting somebody today, Gemini, that is so different than anybody you would have ever considered, but yet you're drawn to them and fascinated. Go for it. Timing is good. Your keyword, Gemini, dance. Our next sign is Cancer, June 21st to July 22nd. You know, Cancers, that artistic inspiration of the sun sextile Uranus is really your ally today. You are seeing order to the chaotic universe around you. And Cancers can take that and mold literally new beginnings. Excellent day for Cancers to develop business plans, no matter how unorthodox. If you're a Cancer and you're inspired to do art today, photography, painting, writing, any of that, follow it. Let your muse guide you. You're going to have a lot of success. But your secret today, Cancer, is follow your own path. Don't stick to convention, okay? In the area of romance, same thing. You're going to be very similar to Gemini's in that opposites attract. So follow that, be free with it, and have fun with it. Your key word today, Cancer, is design. All right, our next sign is Leo, and that's July 23rd to August 22nd. Leo, you are filled with fire power today. That sun in Aquarius is stimulating you. You're a natural fire sign. And with the moon moving into your sign today, you are in power mode. Leos are going to find that they command every situation around them today with ease. So Leo, it's not an issue today of working harder. It's an issue of letting the power that's in motion bring to you what you need. So practice literally visualizing what you want, call it to you, and watch how quickly the universe responds. This is really the day where it's like the power of positive thinking really works for Leos. Your key word today, Leo, is lead. That's right. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice, guys. All right, our next sign is Virgo, and that's August 23rd to September 22nd. You know, Virgos, you are feeling like being in love today. Virgos tend to be people who are more pragmatic and not often given in to flights of fancy. But I'll tell you, that moon trine Venus and that moon trine Mars today it is pulling on your heartstrings and you are in love with life. Virgos will find today that they look good, they feel good, and that they have a captive audience. Virgo, play up your sex appeal. Indulge being beautiful. Allow yourself to realize that you're a good person and that you're beautiful inside and outside and let that work for you today. Virgos will find that they have, as I said, a captive audience. So play to what you want. Draw people in. You're going to get a lot accomplished. Great day for dates. In fact, Virgos may find that they have to make a choice of who to go out with first today. Your key word today, Virgo, is flirt. All right, our next sign is Libra, September 23rd to October 22nd. You know, Libras, you are very much the spiritual advisor today. The sun in Aquarius has your mind open to receiving the masses. People are going to be drawn to Libra today, seeking spiritual guidance, spiritual help. With that moon moving into Leo, from Cancer into Leo today, a lot of people are going to be awakening to the, the kind of what-if scenarios in their lives. So Libra, you want to be the spiritual guide, listen to their concerns, help walk them through transition. Um, with that moon in opposition to Mercury, you may find that people 
are a little str are struggling today to explain what they want from you. So go ahead, trust your intuition, say what you feel that they need to hear, and you'll be on the right path. Don't worry whether you understand them. They're going to understand you today. Your key word today, Libra, is guide. All right, our next sign is Scorpio, October 23rd to November 21st. Scorpios, people around you today are feeling a little hyper. Um, you're going to be having to deal with people that are just wound up tighter than a top. Um, it's because of that Leo moon today and that Aquarius sun. Scorpius, you're a water sign. You tend to take all this energy. You're a little more subdued today, and that's a good place to be. Scorpius will find that among their associates in work as well as social life, that you're the most grounded person today in your social circle. So remember, when you work from that place of centeredness and calm, you are naturally the leader. So Scorpius will find themselves in a leadership role, being asked to take charge of projects. Go ahead, do it with confidence, knowing that you're the right person at the right time with the right vision. Your key word today, Scorpio, is calm. All right, our next sign is Sagittarius, November 22nd to December 21st. Sagittarius, you know, with this Leo fire moon today, you are all up in your theoretical head. Uh, Sagittarius are going to find that they're starting to want to know more about the mysteries today. They're going to be drawn to exploring deep esoteric subjects. If you're a Sagittarius, you might want to explore studies today on the occult, on the esoteric, of the mystical. And you're going to find that you get a lot of knowledge and a lot of answers today. And this is all in preparation for down the road as you lead and guide more people. Sagittarius are going to find in the next few months that they step into a greater leadership role. And today that energy and that knowledge gathering is really where it's at for you today. Sagittarius would do well to also do what I call on the ground exploration, meaning go out and see things today. Go to haunted locations, go to museums that deal with ancient cultures, learn and grow today and you're going to have success. Your key word Sagittarius is explore. Our next sign is Capricorn, December 20th to January 19th. You know Capricorns, um, as I've always said, you're the natural leaders of the zodiac. Today you're going to find that uh, a lot of people are looking to you for clarification. They're actually doing right. I feel like you're surrounded by people today, Capricorn, that want you to lead them, but they just want some affirmation that they're on the right path. So Capricorns are going to find themselves a little bit in the hand-holding phase, like, don't be afraid, dear, go ahead and move forward. Uh, let that natural leadership lead others gently today. You're going to find that people are really ready to receive your advice and take your lead. Capricorns will find also in the area of romance that uh, people are very much drawn to them. Capricorns, you're going to have one of these kind of energies where it's like you got to fight them off with a stick. Uh, just enjoy being the center of attention. That's how it's going to be today. Capricorns, know that as you, as you embrace your own power, you become more attractive, okay? Your key word today, Capricorn, is affirm. Affirm others as well as yourself. All right, our next sign is Aquarius, January 20th to February 18th. You know, Aquarius, today, very much like the Taurus, you are very much in luxurious mode. Aquariuses are going to feel the need to kind of treat themselves to some luxury and some indulgences. Uh, Aquarius, normally you're up in the air, but today you're going to feel very much grounded on the earth and in touch with that sensual energy of the earth. Uh, Aquariuses may be drawn to trying new foods today, exotic foods or even luxurious desserts. So it might be a good day for you to stop by Godiva chocolates and treat yourself to a truffle. <laughs> Aquarians will find today that by having fun and by playing, they actually get a new lease on life and are recharged. Uh, so Aquarius, today is not about working harder. It's about having more fun. If you do that, you're on the path to joy and that leads to success. Remember that moon, or excuse me, that sun is sextile Uranus that's stimulating power for you. So you'll find that if you work through the mind rather than with the hands, you have greater success. Your key word today, Aquarius, splurge. All right, our next sign is Pisces. That's February 19th to March 20th. You know, Pisces, I'm telling you, when I saw that moon trine Venus and trine Mars today, I already knew. I said, this is the day for Pisces 
to live the glam life of love. Uh, Pisces, today what you're going to find is that you are very much the center of attention. People are in love with you. Pisces today will find that you have star quality. If you're a Pisces in the performing arts, today is an excellent day to make contacts in the industry, try to visit directors, do readings for scripts, etc. Because Pisces are going to seem larger than life. Use that power today to win friends and influence people. Pisces are kind of at the top of their game today, so just enjoy it. Again, similar to Aquarius, a lot of sensual energy, a lot of luxury energy. It's not about working harder. It's about working the room. So work, be seen, get known. You're going to be successful. Your key word today, Pisces, is love. Love yourself and love all those around you. Well, guys, there we go. We spun around our big zodiac wheel. Wasn't that a lot of fun? I loved it. Well, you know, I just want to again come here to remind you, and I say it, but it's so true. If you're at a time in your life where you're having a lot of struggle, just pause and look to the stars. And if you look to the stars, you'll see that there's a beautiful cosmic order. And every day the stars are evolving and evolving. And when you're in your time of challenge, know that the universe is just waiting to bring a blessing to you. So have confidence in the power of the heavens and know that you are loved by the universe and you're an important person and are meant to be part of it all. So don't give in to fear, don't give in to despair. Look above and watch the ever evolving cosmos and be part of its mystical journey and you will find joy. You guys are the best. I am so thankful you're here. Listen, keep it here at Spirit Channel. Uh, we've got another video coming a little later today. I'm going to put up a video about my personal experiences and journey into Wicca. A lot of you have been saying, how did you get into Wicca? What was it like? I share more on that subject today. So if you want to see that, definitely be back here in just a little while. We'll have that. In the meantime, hope you'll like this video, favorite it, share it with your friends. And if you can, hit subscribe, be part of our channel. We'd love you to be here. Well, keep it here at Spirit Channel. We got more coming. And again, tomorrow we'll have another Horoscopes. Blessed be.